So this strike is about AI, specifically voice actors who voice act in games. But of course, this touches us all, all the jobs. If you think your job is safe from AI, think again. Even if you're a supervisor or a manager, you know, you could be replaced by AI. Even maybe, you know, when robots get very agile and dexterous, they can replace plumbers and electricians. And maybe we will need that since, you know, five tradespeople are leaving and then it's only two being replaced. And I get it. Those trades jobs are very difficult. However, you'll thank yourself and we will thank you if you are into that profession because we need carpenters, we need plumbers, we need electricians, you know, we need people to do those hard, hard jobs. Uh, in any case, um, you know, I, I get why they're on strike, um, you know, because a, a voice of a person is their particular voice and they own that voice. It's theirs and it's not right for a company ever now or a million years from now to take that identity, of course, unless they're paid for it. You know, if I suppose a person says, yes, you can use my voice with these number of conditions, then of course, maybe that would be okay as well. And you're going to see, you're going to see a lot more of AI being used, like I said, in games and everywhere all across the board. I mean, there are games right now where you can actually talk to, you know, an NPC, a uh, non-playable character in a game. And I guess, you know, they will, you can ask them a question and they will come back with a whole bunch of answers. Just like you could ask Google Gemini, the chatbot, a question. And it will come back with all kinds of answers. But what they're fighting for here is basically, you know, um, rights uh, and they have a lot of concerns like um, AI generated voiceovers, the potential for game developers to use AI to replicate a voice actor's performance without consent. That's, you know, that's crazy or compensation. Ownership of the voice data, you know, the rights to voice data captured during recording sessions and how it can be used in the future. Uh, fair compensation, of course, job security, another very important one. And, uh, you know, the need for clear and enforceable uh, contracts uh, that protect the rights of voice actors uh, in an age of AI. And remember, this is only the beginning. So let me know how you feel about AI and uh, do you use it? And, um, you know, uh, <laughs> What do you think the future holds um, for you and your particular job? And do you think you'll ever be replaced by AI? Because like I said, um, you know, if you think that you're 100% secure in your job and you can't be replaced by AI, some professions, you, you know, they won't be replaced. <laughs> Tough jobs like replacing light bulbs at the top of, I don't know, 100 foot towers. Uh, but then again, maybe you can get drones to do that, right? I mean, yeah, it's... Um, it's, it's, it's a brave new world, certainly, we're heading into. Uh, let me know what you think.